cleaning is so much more efficient and frankly easier for you if you have the right products and tools. You guys know my lingo, PTT, products, tools, techniques. And a few months ago, we made a video called seven cleaning products and tools that you can't live without. I'm paraphrasing, but it was something like that. And in that video, I shared like my top seven cleaning products, but really I have more. We just didn't want to condense like 20 things into one video. We thought we'd break it up. So in this video, I'm doing a continuation of that one and I'm going over seven more of my absolute must have cleaning products and tools to save you time and help you clean better. And just a quick reminder, if you haven't done so already to subscribe to the Clean My Space channel and give this video, a, can I have my thumb, a thumbs up? for Molly being in it. Barkeeper's Friend, or BKF, as it's lovingly referred to by its diehard fans online, is one of those cleaning products that you see on shelves in store. It's just sort of this nondescript gold, silver, or white bottle. You don't really know what it does, but let me tell you, it does a lot. And people swear by Barkeeper's Friend. It is safe to use on most surfaces. It's so important to make sure that you always read the instructions first so that you know what you can and can't use it on. But we use it as a powdered cleanser. It can clean stove tops, it shines up sinks beautifully. You can use it for cleaning pots and pans and even surfaces in your bathroom. We've had great success with it. My mother loves it so you know it's cleaning approved. And if you wanna pick some up, we can put some links in the description box down below for you or you can find it the next time you're at the grocery store, a big box store or a home store. The spin mop twirled its way into our lives a couple of years back and we have not looked back since. The reason I love a spin mop so much, and even you know if you have a mop and a ringer bucket, that's fine, but a spin mop really does go the extra mile because it gets rid of that moisture for you that you would otherwise have to manually wring out yourself, which is not only time consuming, but you might not be able to get a consistent, powerful ring, meaning moisture will be left behind on your floors after you finish mopping them. So it can either leave streaks or it could potentially damage your floors in the case of a hardwood floor. So when you use a spin mop, pick your cleaning product according to the floor surface that you're cleaning. Fill your bucket accordingly. I always love using hot water whenever I'm mopping the floor. You just get that extra nice finish. Do your S pattern, do your thing. And remember, when you're picking up a spin mop, you wanna get a really good quality one. While it might seem like an overly simple tool to have, it is super helpful when it comes to cleaning. That is the squeegee. There are many uses for it, and if you have one in your home, you can circulate it around for all of the different uses instead of having multiple ones. Okay, so keeping your squeegee in your shower and giving your shower tiles and glass a quick squeege, that's a word that my friend Elle came up with from Elle Lindquist, her vlogs. You give it a quick squeege and you get rid of all that excess moisture. That means no soap scum, no hard water, no moldy bacteria, mildew, that kind of stuff left behind after a shower. Great investment of 30 seconds of your time and a squeegee. If you have pet hair, you can use the squeegee by gently wetting the rubber tip and quickly stroking any of that upholstery or carpet that has a ton of pet hair on it, you'll see the pet hair comes right up. And even for cleaning windows and mirrors, if you spray with a little bit of glass cleaner, you can quickly squeegee down those glass surfaces and you will get a nice streak-free shine. Simple tool, lots of uses, and saves you time. Vinegar is a pretty divisive cleaning product. People know it works, but some people really can't stand the smell. And actually, if you're one of those people who can't stand the smell of vinegar, let me know in the comments down below. I cannot argue with you. Sometimes the smell of vinegar is not the most pleasant, but it does work really well. And keep in mind, there are two different types of vinegar that you can clean with. There's your regular run-of-the-mill vinegar that's 5% acidic acid, which cleans very well and also can accompany salads or fish and chips. And there is cleaning vinegar, which is double strength, 10% acidic acid. Now this you can typically find in the cleaning aisle. You have to wear protective gear because it's significantly more acidic than your regular vinegar, but it does work really well. And what vinegar is so powerful for is deodorizing, degreasing, and even at times descaling, getting rid of rust. And some people say vinegar disinfects too. 
When you have to break out the elbow grease, it probably means that you have to use one of these, an iron handle scrub brush. Now what a silly name for a cleaning tool, right? Well, not really. A lot of people are confused why it's called iron handle, but the truth is if you look at it, the handle kind of looks like one of those antique old school irons. So it's got nothing to do with iron the metal or the thing that you need to keep yourself awake every day. Like me, I take iron every day. It's just the shape of the brush, iron handle. So this is a real hard worker if you're cleaning grout, if you have any heavy duty cleaning jobs. Chad used this when he cleaned our deck before he redid it and you can see that on our honey-do list video where he made over our entire patio. Anyway, the iron handle brush can work wonders and we have one, look at it, it's pretty beat up, but trust me, it does the trick and it's really important to have one around the house for those gritty, kind of heavy-duty, elbow greasy kind of jobs. When I go to my dentist, I get a dental loot bag with floss, a new toothbrush, and a little mini travel toothpaste. Because we travel a lot, I use those things a lot on the road. And whenever I come back from a trip, if my toothbrush kind of looks like it's seen better days, then it graduates to its real job, cleaning. And we have multiple cleaning toothbrushes that we use around the house for different functions. We have a couple in the kitchen. I have one in my own bathroom. I use some of them for beauty hacks, like cleaning out my fingernails with baking soda, all that kind of stuff. There are so many great uses for soft bristled cleaning toothbrushes. And if you label them appropriately, you can use them for different cleaning tasks around the house. If you asked me what my number one, ultimate, absolute best, all-time favorite cleaning tool was, you guys know the answer. Microfiber cloths, obviously. They changed the way I clean and they changed the way that I run my business. And that's why we came up with our Makers Clean microfiber cleaning cloths. Now, the good news about our cloths is that they are currently on sale. We started a Black Friday sale yesterday. It's 25% off site-wide. I will put the link down below for you for makersclean.com. No offer code is necessary. It'll be running until Monday or until supplies last. Last time we had a sale like this on our plush cloths, we sold out, like sold out of inventory in 22 hours. So don't wait if you wanna get them for yourself or if you wanna get them for gifting, make sure that you do it now. Now the reason I love microfiber cloths for cleaning is because not only are they non-linting, several ones are non-scratching, which is great for delicate surfaces, they don't leave moisture or streaks behind, they can lift up dirt, grease, grime, and bacteria, they cut your cleaning time, you can clean so many surfaces with our simple DIY solutions, they're easy to care for, and you can reuse them up to 500 times. Microfiber cloths will cut your cleaning time, and for real, Heart to heart will change the way you clean. Now you know what my absolute favorite cleaning products and tools are, my must haves. And you know my ultimate must have, microfiber cloths. And that brings me to this week's comment question. What is your one must have cleaning product or tool? Let me know in the comments down below. Like if you were deserted on a desert island and you had everything you needed, but could only clean your palm leaf shack with one thing, what would that thing be? Let me know in the comments down below. And because Chad is so great at doing all the things around the house, you can follow him on Instagram. He is at the Chad Reynolds. Here are a couple of other videos I think you're going to love. And if you want to learn more about our cloths and get in on that sale, visit cleanmyspace.com. There's a button down there that lets me know you care. So click it if you liked this video and click this button right here to subscribe and begin your journey to a cleaner life. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.